Good morning everybody. Uh, this is week 8 and this is the first lecture. Uh, so I hope you I wish uh, selamat hari raya to everybody. And uh, so I hope you have a, you have had a good time and also uh just to to remind you that the mid semester test uh, will be uh, held next week the test will cover uh, topic 1 to topic 4 uh, and the test contains uh, three questions and uh, you have to answer all the questions in two hours i hope you, i can prepare a video or something uh, to explain about the test uh, this week okay we are still in topic 5 uh, and this topic is about uh, supplier and customer management uh, in the previous lecture I have uh, covered uh, things related to how to manage supplier and also how to manage the customer uh, if you have a business uh, or if you are working in a in a business so you have to aware that it is very important uh, to manage the supplier and also to manage the customer you have to aware that it is uh, for a business the relationship is important uh, the, the relationship with supplier and customer uh, is important but at the same time the business or the organization has to manage the relationship the business has to manage the relationship so that the business can get the the benefit from the relationship sometimes if uh, a business may have a relationship with supplier but the relationship is not a good relationship uh, it's not something that uh, benefits the organization so managing the, the relationship means the business or the organization has to uh, has to do something to get the best from the relationship with the supplier and customer Okay, so this is another thing that is important in uh, in the relationship between the uh, between a business and its suppliers and customers. Uh, this thing is managing time. Time is very important. So for business, uh, the business has to manage time. So let's see. Managing time is a key aspect of. Uh, supplier customer management uh, why it is a key aspect so first dictates the rate at which products and services are produced and revenue is generated so if you have a business or you are working in a business now you have to realize or aware that time is the most important thing uh, time uh, when you produce your product or provide services uh, managing time is more important than managing the cost uh, because most of the time if you can manage time uh, you can uh, produce the product and also or you can provide the service at, at the lower cost that is the, the thing. Uh, the basic idea is most of the time if you can manage time you can manage the cost. Uh, but if you focus too much on cost sometimes uh, you have to spend more time on the production or providing the service. But if you can manage time most of the time you can uh, you can control the cost you can manage the cost 
Okay, the second point here, time determines how long resources are tied up. So if you have a business, uh, or you working in a business, uh, there are many resources. So if you can do everything quickly, then you can reduce the resources tied up. Uh, if you have a business, or you work in a business, uh, uh, resources tied up is uh, is costly. Uh, you, if you have to keep resources in your business uh, for a long time, uh, you have to to pay costs. You have to pay something, uh, the storage costs, uh, and maybe if you keep resources uh, for very long time, the resources can expire. Uh, so it is a wastage. So time is important. Time determines how long resources are tied up. Time delays can cause build up of inventory. Okay, that is another thing to to wear. And delays in launch uh, launches of new product may lead to market share decline. So very important. Time is very important. You cannot delay. Uh, in this uh, fourth point, it says that. If you delay launches of new products, uh, it may lead to market share decline. That's why you you can see that uh, the 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 clearer the clearest example that we can see now is the competition between uh, Apple and uh, Samsung uh, in the uh, smartphone market. Uh, they will launch their new product. Uh, according to the specific time, uh, they they want to do it quickly. I think now the launches of new product, the launch of new product now is like uh, for smartphone. Uh, it is once a year or something. Uh, they will launch new uh, edition of their smartphone. So that's. Uh, why they do that? Because they know delays in launches of new product may lead to mar uh, market share decline. If Samsung is late, then Apple product will dominate the market. So if Apple is late, then Samsung will dominate the market. That's why they they launch their product uh, on time and they try to to offer uh, the best uh, features. For their product so that they their, their market share is not declined they try to maintain or uh, they want more market share than the, the the one that they have now so these points show that manage, managing time is very important okay so managing time there is a system for that we call it time based management Okay, time-based management. There are several uh, uh, things important related to time-based management. So this, uh, in this slide, you can see three uh, points uh, related to measures of time. So the the first one is development, uh, new product or service development time, time to market. So, uh, uh, one of uh, one important aspect of time-based management is the development time for your for a business product or service. Uh, so the basic idea is a business has to to make the development of new product or services uh, quickly. Everything has to be done uh, efficiently, uh, no delays. Uh, Break-even time, break-even time or BET is time from initial concept to product introduction and when profit has been generated to cover investment. So before this, uh, I think you have learned about break-even. Uh, uh, break-even in time of, in terms of. Uh, dollar and cent, uh, dollar and quantity. Uh, so now for time-based management, there is a concept called break-even time. Uh, this concept is about uh, 
calculation uh, when is the time for the business uh, can generate uh, uh, profit for its product or services uh, and then this calculation is based on time uh, not dollar and not quantity so the break even time is related to time so so the idea is uh, the quicker the business can uh, achieve the break even time the better the product uh, and then customer response time uh, is time taken to response to customer order that is very important too if for a business they have to have a, a short a customer response time they have to respond to customer order uh, very quickly uh, the the shorter the time the better uh, because customer expect that they will receive their order uh, uh, very quickly okay these uh, are things related to customer response time uh, customer response time can be seen uh, through through three phases uh, the first one is order receipt time the second phase is production lead or cycle time and the third phase is delivery time these three phases uh, determines the customer response time so if you have a business or you are working in a business so you have to worry about this uh, uh, to 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 have a quick customer response time you have to control these three phases uh, you have to make sure that order receipt time is 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 fast uh, order receipt time is the time uh, when a business receive order from customer and process the order and then the production lead time is the the uh, the time to to produce the order to make the order and then delivery time is also important delivery time is the time to to send the order uh, in whether it is a product order or service order uh, from the time the the thing is done uh, to 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 send the order to the to the customer so these three phases uh it determines the customer response time so for a business for a, or a company they have to worry about this and they have to manage this uh, three phases so that they can they can have good customer response time okay so managing time is very important here in this slide you can see uh, five time drivers uh, time drivers are things that that cause a time to increase or decrease uh, things that can cause whether uh, uh, time uh, use is uh, high or, or a long time or short time so things that cause time times to increase or decrease so the first thing see here poorly structured order production and delivery process uh, so this this will cause time to uh, taken times used to to provide service or to produce product or to sell product uh, longer than longer or short long long or short time so the time driver is here so how to manage that how to control this time driver so you can see in the uh, right side of the table to manage uh, poorly structured order production and de delivery processes uh, you can do three things first conduct value analysis to identify and, and remove non-value added activities Second, implement con continuous improvement processes. And number three, use business process re-engineering to completely redesign processes. Okay, see here. The first point, 
is to eliminate or remove non-value added activities. So, uh, in in strategic management or in management accounting, uh, this concept of removing non-value added activities is very important. If you have a business uh, or work in a business, you have to remove non-value added activities. Um, when you remove the non-value added activities, uh, you will get two benefits. First, you can uh, reduce the time. And second thing uh, is also you can reduce the cost. I hope you can you can read about non value added activities. Uh, I think in the previous topic or something we have discussed about this. So, how a business can reduce non value added activities? What is the definition of non value added activities? Uh, I think the uh, that is very important. And then also continuous improvement is very. Uh, very ve well known uh, management uh, practice now everybody is talking about continuous improvement uh, in their uh, activities I think we uh, at the individual level also we have to implement this idea we have to try to do uh, continuous improvement on the way we do our works and then use business process re-engineering so business process re-engineering is uh, to to completely uh, using new way of doing things uh, that is the uh, business process engineering re-engineering uh, do the thing in a new way in a better way Okay, the, the next time drivers, the next time driver is bottleneck in order, production and delivery processes. Uh, bottleneck is something that is the limitation in the in the process, in the production process or in the uh, in the service providing process or something. Uh, bottleneck means the limitation. So how to manage that this uh, time driver? See in the right side of the table, manage throughput by identifying and resolving bottleneck resources. Attempt to minimize lumpiness and unpredictability in the customer in customer demand. Okay, the next time driver is poor quality. So how to manage that? Uh, develop a total quality management culture. Supported by appropriate measures of quality cost and quality drivers. We have discussed about total quality management in the previous topic. Uh, when we covered uh, a topic about quality management. So, uh, so we, you, you can see the, uh, the explanation related to TQ, TQM in the previous topic. Uh, number four, inefficient inventory management. So, how to manage that? How to make sure that your business or your organization organization can efficiently uh, manage inventory? So, the thing that is suggested here is to to improve supply chain management to minimize delays caused by inadequate and poor quality supplies. So supplies, uh, uh, so here the, the uh, possible management approach is related to how to, uh, related to the relationship between the organization or a business with uh, its supplier. Okay, so that's the thing. <clears throat> and number five, poorly structured R&D processes in developing new product and services so what are the things that can be done to manage this uh, you, uh, see here there are two points there use target costing to manage the product design and develop development process 
target costing you have learned about target costing before ensure that value engineering uh, minimize minimizes production time as well as cost okay so this is the way to manage time drivers Time drivers, remember time drivers are things that can cause time to increase or decrease. Okay, that is the end of this topic. So, these are the summary of, uh, this is the summary of the things that you have learned in this topic. So, let see the first point. The first thing that you have learned in this topic is supply chain management. That is the main focus of the topic. This topic, the title of this topic is Supplier and Customer Management. So, Supplier and Customer uh, Supplier and Customers uh, uh, are components uh, in the supply chain management. So, so, see here. Supply chain management involves improving the performance of supply chains by managing costs. So that is the first thing. The focus is on cost. Uh, and then creating and managing collaborative relationship with suppliers. Uh, economic order quantity versus JIT inventory management approaches. So the second point is, uh, it shows that in this topic, you have learned about the the way how to to create and manage relationship with suppliers uh, like i have said several times in the lecture it is not only uh, you want to have a relationship with with supplier but you have to manage the relationship the relationship so that your business or your organization can get the most benefit from the relationship. Okay, so that's the thing. And then EOQ, uh, economic order quanti quantity versus JIT inventory management approaches. So this is about the, the something related to inventory. EOQ is like a traditional way of managing inventory. When you uh, you have relationship with suppliers, it, it it means that you have inventory because you purchase inventories from suppliers. So the EOQ is like the traditional way to manage inventory. Uh, the traditional way is uh, uh, it's like this. Uh, in the basic idea is every business has to keep some inventories so that the 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 flow of the operation and activities is 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 smooth uh, no delays if you have insufficient inventories then sometimes you cannot uh, fulfill customer orders that is the basic idea but now we have a uh, a new uh, approach called JIT, just in time inventory. Uh, this approach, uh, the basic idea about this approach is uh, you only order inventory from supplier when you receive or after you receive order from customer. So if you implement JIT in a business, the inventory. Uh, uh, is keep is kept at a very minimum number, uh, the in minimum quantity. Uh, so the business or the organization only uh, will order uh, supplies or inventory from supplier when there is uh, when the business or organization receive customer order. So the good thing about this JIT is. Uh, the inventory can be managed very efficient, efficiently. Can be managed very efficiently. But the uh, something that is not good about inventory is uh, the burden of 
uh, handling the inventory uh, is uh, shifted to the supplier so if a business implement JIT uh, the business shifted the burden of handling uh, the inventory and ensuring the quality of the inventory to the supplier so the supplier the suppliers uh, uh, suffer uh, the suppliers have uh, do more works they have the suppliers have to uh, send the inventory uh, very quickly and also the suppliers have to to ensure the quality of the inventory etc so i think it is good for the organization or business but uh, the suppliers uh, suffer if uh, inventory is implemented and then customer relationship management and customer profitability so uh, so you have to you have seen that if you have a business you have to manage the customer uh, not only to have customer but you have to manage the relationship uh, with customer okay and then the last one is time based management measures of time and time drivers so that is the last uh, subtopic uh, in this uh, in this uh, topic so i think the basic idea about the last subtopic is uh, time is very important if you have a business time is very important if you do not manage time you will lose market share uh, and then you will lose many things and also the another thing is remember this according to this uh, according to the things that we have seen in these notes uh, the thing that we can learn is if a business can manage time uh, if a business can reduce time in the manufacturing process in the delivery process in the delivery process or in the uh, order uh, order process in the order what they call it uh, customer order process if a business can uh, reduce time in these three processes then most of the time the the business can reduce costs related to these uh, processes so the basic idea is if you want to to reduce costs you reduce the time uh, that is the basic idea okay thank you very much uh, this is the first uh, part of the lecture for week eight So uh, I will have uh, I will share with you another uh, video. Uh, thank you very much. Do not forget to write your name and metric number in the comment section.